Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be a general reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I do hope everybody's doing well. Thank you for all the likes, subscribe and, uh, subscribes, and share. It's early. Sorry, guys. Um, let's see what the main structure of your reading is going to be. Remember to take what resonates and leave the rest behind, okay? We have you releasing something. Letting go of the past and awakening. Wow. Eight of winter. You have what it takes if only you believe in yourself. Thinking that you're powerless when you're not. A lack of self-confidence that keeps you from getting what you want. So whatever you want is right in front of you is what I feel like, Scorpio. But you have to release something. Like you have to let go of the past and let an ending happen. So you can make way for new op opportunities because it's time to move on. Because the way you've been going, it's just been draining. It's been, it's, I'm, I'm going to say it like this. It's had a real impact on your self-worth and your self-respect. Whatever this is. It's really taking you down a notch, all right? But you're awakening because you're changing the way you're looking at this situation. You're embracing your uniqueness. But there's a temporary pause in action because you, you understand that this is an awakening, that you have to stop for just a second and release something, which is great. Let's see what... Uh, the Celtic Cross has got to say. Where is Scorpio at right now? What is in their mind right at the moment? And remember to take what resonates. These are general readings. Nine of Pentacles. So you're doing real well for yourself right now, Scorpio. But you're by yourself. And I'm having this pool that tells me that you don't want to be alone anymore. You don't want to be single anymore. Um, that you're seeing the reality of a situation that, that, and this could be all about you, embracing your uniqueness. A temporary pause in action so you can sit there and understand what you have gained through this release of something else okay competition that's your challenge you manifested this recently had a fight unconditional love new start there's hope in the future factors affecting the situation the past Ten of Swords, Nine of Cups, Seven of Cups on the bottom. I do believe there are a lot of people trying to get your attention right now, Scorpio, because you are single and probably pretty well off. And so there, a lot of people are trying to get your attention right now. They're trying to get you to start something with them. And I see an Aquarius here that is definitely on your mind or is coming in because that's your immediate future there's hope and i do believe this has to do with love because we got a brand new beginning in love here and an offer so let's let's uh, clarify what was this fight about in the recent past working together money an offer. Somebody made an offer to you that uh, I don't think you quite liked. Yeah, Nine of Wands. On your guard. It's like, I got this last one. I'm good. You know, I don't want to fight about it. Uh, and, and this working together has been very costly in the way I feel about myself. Someone has cut you to the bone here, right, in the immediate past. 
and it hurt. Sorry if I sound a little nasally, but I just had a cry session after the last one because that was that was deep. Let's see what this Five of Wands is all about. What is this Five of Wands? Please. Oh, goodness, yes. There is a lot of people trying to get your attention. They understand that you are their two of cups. Could be dealing with a soulmate or a twin flame here that walked away. Could have been a Leo. But you may need the strength to walk away from certain other things competition or feeling like you you're in competition with other people in order to have that two of cups you understand completely i think what this is let's see what the star Ooh, capricorn not sure if you want it or not you think it's an illusion it just wants sex is a choice that has to be made. They are in love with you, Scorpio. Whoever this person is, it could be dealing with a Capricorn, Gemini, or Aquarius. They all they're all in your immediate future. That could be the choices that you get through the competition. Okay. Somebody's hope has become toxic for them. Their hope of Hold on a second. They didn't take the cup that was offered freely. They made a choice. Because Seven of Cups is all about choices, making the right choice. And I do believe that you're paying very, very close attention to this choice. What you're willing to settle for. Because enough's enough. Okay? You've had enough of this. You're ready to move to the next phase in your life. And that may have something to do with somebody you passed by before. Because you got the walking away from your two of cups. You're, you're walking away from... Your love wish fulfillment, which was in the past, okay? Let's see what uh, the Page of Cups has got for you here. This is an offer of love coming in. Maybe I, I'm feeling like it's from a younger person. Or you're the younger person. There's a, There's an age gap here. But you're paying close attention to this. Wow. Queen of Wands. And there's that Knight of Cups again. Victory. So, factors affecting the situation. I believe you were waiting on something. Because we have the, King, the Queen of Wands here. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles who takes forever. There's a lot of love here. It's just taking them a long time, whoever this Queen of Wands is, to see that the waiting was worth it. There may be children involved, okay, in this situation. This Queen of Wands waited a long time for that love. All right, that could be you, Scorpio. Six of Cups. So this is your definitely outside of uh, outside uh, factors, the outside influences. This is the Six of Cups, the past. Whoever this person is, Scorpio, is somebody from your past. And I do feel like there's an age gap here, a big one. I don't read in revert. I'm not reading reversals. Something about your stability, and there you are, Scorpio. A brand new start after a fight. There's the fight twice. 
So this fight caused you to go within and start manifesting for your highest good. And that's beautiful because you're coming into the realization of this awakening. Your hopes and fears is the Ten of Swords. So you're hoping and, or fearing that the backstabbing and that kind of energy is over. And your final outcome is the Knight of Cups. So there is somebody coming in. Well, bells and whistles here. Or it's you going in to get your King of Cups. Still stuck. That's you, Scorpio. Still stuck on your decision to ride in and tell the truth. Could be dealing with a Cancer, just saying, or a Pisces. You got Pisces on the bottom. Use your intuition right now, Scorpio. It is very important for you to use your intuition because whatever this was, you need to release it so your awakening can happen. And, and I do believe it revolves around your self-worth, your self-esteem. This is a brand new start in love. Choosing to love. Choosing to see only love. In whatever particular situation this is for you. Okay, let's see what else we got for the Ace of Cups. Ten of Cups. Wow, wish fulfillment. Looking at what you've looking at what you've done. Or admire somebody's admiring. This is this is best possible outcome. So we got nine of swords on the bottom. You are very, very worried about either this approaching this person or this person approaching you. You're not sure what to make of it. You're, you're, that's why the pause. That's why the... Okay, hold on. Like, like hold up, energy. Uh, I, I need to really look at this. Is this my Ten of Cups? Is this fair? Is this in my integrity? Because you had it all along. Okay? Unconditional love. Somebody who loved you no matter what. And you or they were a wish fulfillment. Seven of Pentacles is what I call reaping what you've sown or harvesting what you've planted. And you're at the Ten of Wands, ready to drop all them burdens. And the Six of Pentacles and be fair to someone or someone be fair to you. Okay? I'm pull you one Hidden Realms card, and that'll be your reading. Okay, we have the Swan Queen in reverse. Transformation, intuition, and patience. I'll get the book, and I'll read that to you. Eagle King in reverse. You're not seeing something right now. Uh... Scorpio, and it's a release of, of toxic patterns, and you're going to be doing that. You're going to be saying, ah, you know what? Nah, I'm good. I, I, I'm good, thanks. And I think that's, that's going to piss some people off, okay? It, there's no doubt about it. Gonna, it's going to make some people mad, okay? But it's your destiny. It's your life. Do not let other people tell you what is good and not good for you. You know deep within what is good for you. What is good for you. You know where this is going. And this person, either you or them, that's stuck on another person, is going to come riding in to tell you the truth. Even if it's just a closure situation. Okay? Your outside influence is yourself, your stability, your passion. That is important to you. Very, very important to you. And you'll fight for it. Whatever it takes. Passionately fight for it. Whatever it takes. Got this in reverse. Let's read it. 
When the Swan Queen appears as your cha to challenge you, it's time to stop doubting your inner voice. Don't let your analytical mind prevent you from seeing the miracles that Spirit places in front of you. Another message the Swan Queen shows you in the mirror of your life is your fear of change. Why fear what's inevitable? Everything in life changes and transforms from one moment to the next. Holding on to the past only distorts and mangles the natural order of things. If you can, in spite of your fear, be gentle with yourself and allow for change. Only beauty will come of it. Most important, a shift in perspective is what is called for now. Like I said, I do believe that there is a huge age gap here. And I think you need to change your perspective on that, Scorpio. Um, I'm feeling somebody maybe in their 50s and somebody maybe in their 30s or 40s. That That's what I'm feeling here. I don't know what that means. I'm just feeling that. Okay. Well, that's all the messages I have for you today, Scorpio. I'll see you next time. Till then, bye-bye.